Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 28. And in this video I'm going to speak to you guys a little bit more about forms. Okay, so I realize in the previous video I may have rushed things a little bit too quickly for beginners and I thought I'd just take a few minutes just to explain what was going on here and then I also just wanted to tell you what's going to happen in the next few tutorials and uh, we'll move on from there. So right now uh, we've got the code from the previous tutorial here and if you guys can remember this was a program that like uh, printed out whatever we wrote inside this input element okay but I realize that some of you may not be um, familiar with this dot value uh, property over here so if I go ahead and I just comment this out quickly and I comment this out again over here okay now we're left with this one variable okay and this variable is called name and you guys should know that we've our set our variable equal to an element which is this element over here okay so if I save this and uh, I actually want to add one more line of code here and that is alert name okay so what I'm doing is I'm alerting the variable name okay so that whenever I click on this button it's gonna run this function and alert our variable name so let's go back to Firefox now click refresh okay and now when I click on done I get this alert box that pops up that tells me object HTML input element okay so that means that I have stored an object inside of a variable okay and the object being this input element over here but when working with forms we don't really need the entire object okay we only need one property and that property is most likely going to be the value so because an input element and uh, pretty much all in, in elements or input elements uh, in a form have this uh, attribute called value that is also a property that we can use up here in JavaScript so when I append dot value onto the end of this line over here instead of setting our variable name equal to this element okay we're setting it equal to a property which is the value and the value of an input element is whatever you type in here okay so whatever's typed inside our input element so now when I click refresh okay if I type in my name here and I click done then I get my name alerted out on the screen so I've only grabbed what was inside of our input element likewise if I leave this empty and I click done I get nothing alerted out on the screen it's an empty alert box and that's because we typed in nothing there so our value is just like uh, an empty string nothing okay so that's actually what we're gonna be doing over the next couple tutorials is we're just gonna basically look at grabbing form values okay I uh, values from a form and then we're gonna look at how to check that they meet certain requirements so we're gonna try and check that our user didn't like uh, try submit an empty form and we're also gonna try and see that it meets certain requirements which is uh, that whole process is called form validation so that's what we're gonna be looking at over the next couple tutorials is just how to validate your form and yeah guys get keen because that's what we're gonna do so thanks for watching and as always don't forget to subscribe and if you guys found this video helpful then go ahead and click that like button and leave a comment below to let me know and I will see you guys next time